today we are going to talk about what about all this rain? Um, I've probably heard that question at least 20,000 times uh, over the past, you know, going on 15 years. Um, every, every year, every summer, it rains. Um, people shut off their irrigation systems and they have, uh, you know, negative effects to their turf grass and, and sometimes even plant material as a result of that. And, and it doesn't pass the common sense test. And I understand that to most people, to lay people especially, um, it's raining. So they shut their systems off. But there are so many facets to um, moisture lost to the atmosphere. Uh, you have evapotranspiration, which is a, a collective of water lost from the soil to the atmosphere. That's evaporation. And then you have transpiration, which happens with the plants. The plant, um, you know, loses water through its pores. And this is um, for many reasons. Uh, there, there's evaporative cooling that happens, which is essentially sweat. The plant's photosynthesizing, the blades are open, and uh, that's the way of, of basically thermoregulation. It's, it's um, regulating its temperature. So when it's sweating, uh, it's losing that moisture to the atmosphere, and that's, that's something that most people don't think about. They think, oh, there's water, it rained, we're good. Um, no, the, the plant sweats just like we do. If you drink a bottle of water and you go and you work Today is 110 degrees with the heat index. You know, I believe there's a, a heat advisory, which every day should be a heat advisory in Florida in the summer. It's ridiculous. It's hot, it's humid. Um, you know, this, this transpiration uh, also creates a, a pressure gradient that draws moisture from the roots up into the, the plant material, the, the, the blades of the grass and things like that. That's, that's basically an example of a superfluid. You know, the, the the fluid is defying gravity and moving upward. So um, the water loss from those two things, evaporation and evapotranspiration, um, are, are to be considered when asking what about all this rain. Um, secondly, a lot of times it rains at 3.30 in the afternoon. This is the hottest part of the day, three o'clock, hottest part of the day. So um, when, when, it's, when it's raining at 3, 3.30, something like that, and it gets dark at eight o'clock, then you have, um, you know, several hours there uh, that the sun can just dry this stuff up. So a lot of it's not making it to the root system, percolating through the top eight to 12 inches of soil. Then you have a superficial root system, which, you know, is, is a few inches deep rather than eight to 12 inches deep. So it's uh, less able to, to reach down into the top eight to 12 inches and, and pull water and, and nutrients and things like that. Uh, because you've created a superficial root system and an overall unhealthier turf grass. So uh, all of these factors are reasons that you should leave your system set to auto and install a rain sensor. Set that rain sensor to one half or three quarters of an inch and it will shut off the system when it needs to be shut off and run it when it needs to run. You don't have to run out and think about it and shut the system off. I mean, we've had numerous instances of customers shutting the system off and going to Indiana or going somewhere and being gone for a month or two months or something and coming back and having issues with their turf and, and being perplexed at that because how, what about all this rain? Well, what about it? Are, are we factoring in transpiration and evaporation and you know shallow root systems and all these things? So let's not do this. Let's avoid that. Um, let's set the system to auto. Let's set it to run during the time of the day when it needs to run. Uh, which is when the grass is already wet uh, from the dew. So at night, you know, after 10 p.m., before 7 a.m., that's when you should water. Um, water deep and infrequent. You know, every three and a half days it needs to be watered. So, um, and deep. Wet the top 8 to 12 inches of soil. Develop a deep root system. Grass is overall healthier. Um, and we're good. So what about all this rain? I've uh, been meaning to do this one for a while. It needs to happen. Uh, again, I've had this conversation more times than I've, I've cared to uh, over the years. And, um, the, you know, again, I get it to lay people, it's raining, we don't need to water. Well, that's not true because there are many ways in which the grass loses moisture. The soil loses it, evaporation into the atmosphere, uh, transpiration from the turf grass, from sweat, you know, thermoregulation, all those things. So uh, a lot of different facets that aren't taken into consideration. Uh, and I, I on numerous occasions too, I've said to customers uh, that, that just can't grasp that concept. What about all this rain? You know, you can't tell me that it's, it's because of water. Well, this, 
that we're sitting here talking about, these damaged areas, that's because you defied what we told you in the invoices. We always say don't shut your irrigation off because of all the rain. Set the rain sensor to active, set it to half to three quarters of an inch and let it do its job. This damage is trying it your way. Now, instead of sitting here arguing with a professional about it, how about you try it my way? And we won't have to have this conversation anymore. So what about all this rain? Um, again, long time coming. Hopefully we can share this with some people and, and um, not have to have this conversation anymore. That would be fantastic. And we'd all be happy. So hope you're all well. Take care. Thank you.